Now, babe, you're ready. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't intend to wear that lipstick to the office. Why? Because my boss might complain. The color is too bright. I don't understand again. Your boss has to tell us what we have to look like. Yes. My department girls, they are very scared of Richard Carlo. He's too strict. Anyways, how do I look? Simple and hot. Thank you. Just swing and tie wall. Okay, please, you may go in. For that, please. So, may I continue? Yes, go on. Miss Idara? Okay, please. You may go in. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Name? My name is Idara Edith Thompson. Have you ever worked as an assistant before? No, sir. Then how well do you know the nature of this job? I intend to do an exclusive training. I have read about... This is not about what you read in school. my CV, sir. I am not interested in your CV or any of your credentials. What I want is smartness, brilliance, competence, a problem solver, a fixer, one who can reach through the lines, cross the T's and dot the I's. I have worked with several gentlemen and ladies most of them claim to have graduated with a first class and distinctions. But yet, none of them were able to offer me what I want. Absolutely none of them. So tell me, if you were gainfully employed, what do you intend to bring to this table, aside your certification? Please sit down. Describe yourself in three words. Smart, articulate, proactive. Thank you. 
Mr. Foyoshe will take you on a tour. You will be trained for two weeks and then you can resume. Thank you, sir. You don't need to thank me. Thank yourself. Now go get started. Through Saturday, you have to be in the office before seven thirty. She works on Saturdays. Of course, even on holidays, it's a private company, not owned by government. You have to be in the office before seven thirty a.m. That's because you must make coffee for him every morning, and he has some other things in the street that he takes. What about tea? No, just coffee. Just coffee. <laughs> Babe, I can't even believe that you got the job. What question did he ask you that you got right? I am still in shock. It was like I was sitting before the throne of a god. <sighs> Babe, my problem right now is that the training is too intensive. <clears throat> Why do I have to undergo such training just to be an assistant? <laughs> Wait until you start working with the MD. Then you know why six people got fired in three months. He's a professional little. So. <laughs> You know, in this Abuja, a job like yours is like good. Men and women are there looking for such opportunities. Mr. Fire, she said my salary will be 250,000 naira. And tomorrow, I'll be seeing my apartment at Busi. Wow. <laughs> See fingers levels now. <laughs> Smally, leave me alone. No. Eh? Thank you so much. It's nothing. You're my friend. If I didn't connect you, who would I connect? Smally. Smally, Smally. Give me five. Give me five. Smally with the connect. Thank you. Hey, good job. Um. Go inside. Ah. Okay. Oh, I'll sit down. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning, sir. What time are you supposed to resume work daily? 7.30 a.m., sir. And what says your time now? a.m., sir. Hmm. I arrived to the office before you. My coffee isn't ready yet. My agenda for the day isn't ready yet. You see, you made me to understand that you're brilliant and you're smart, but sadly, I don't see any sign of brilliance and smartness. And this is not one thing I would love to work with. I'm um, sir. I am still talking. Did Mr. Fayoshe share with you the standard operating procedure handbook? Yes, sir. Then study it. I am not known to accept failures. I am really sorry for coming late to work, sir. I actually woke up early. I am also not known to accept excuses. As a matter of fact, I detest them. Now call me Payoshe. Yes, sir. Mr. Fayose, I will not have any reason to set eyes on a new assistant at least until she is properly trained for the next four days. Right away, sir. Thank you. 
Hmm. He doesn't eat fish. He doesn't eat beef. Yeah, occasionally he does chicken. But what kind of human being is that? He is that way because it's healthy. Smalley, I'm tired. Tired? You've not even started work full time and you said you're tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of being with a man who doesn't eat meals that would give him strength. Yet, he's as heartless as what I can't even explain. <laughs> you're just two days old in the company and you're complaining already. You've not even seen the endless true color. I beg, when did you say we're going to club again? Club? Weekend? I work Saturdays and Sundays. Although my timetable says half day. Half day? Then we can still club. It's my day, I beg, I'm tired. What the hell is this? Coffee. Yes, I know this is coffee, but what did you put inside it? It's black coffee, sir. I added sweetener to it because without sweetener, it is actually irritating and not nice at all. Idara. Idara. Idara, do you not know that you're supposed to seek my permission before adding sweetener to my coffee or not? If you have done it to a diabetic patient, you will definitely be sued for this nonsensical act. I'm sorry, sir. I do not know you do not take sweeteners. It will not repeat itself again. Okay? Now listen, the only reason you can find sweeteners in my office is because guests come in here every now and then and most of them request sweeteners, but I don't. Let this be the very last time you'll add sweeteners into my coffee. Yes, sir. Be excused. Sit down. No, 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 sit down. Uh, Mr. Fayoshe, the personal assistant, what, what, what's her name again? Yes, Dara Thompson. Yes, the very one. Um, please assign the driver to her immediately. Okay. The library also. Yes, well, that'd be all. Uh, five shit? Chin up a little bit. Hmm? Relax. <laughs> so, what do you think? Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Let me show you to my room. You'll love it. Really? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sir, the driver is no more with me. And so? There is nobody available right now to take me to the restaurant. If there are, you have a car all to yourself. Why do you need anyone to drive you? That's because I don't know how to drive. 
So you would rather I leave what I'm doing and drive myself to Calabar Aroma? Simply because you deliberately choose not to learn how to travel. Why on earth did I employ you in the first place? My friend actually wanted to teach me. Your friend? You had a drive out to yourself for over a month. Why didn't you ask him to teach you? Because... Because you were daft. That's what it is. I'm sorry, sir. Nothing upstairs. Now go out there and get me food. I don't care how you do it. Get out. CGI presentation that will also double as public material, electronic billboard editorials, and um, televised commercials. Estate that Senegal shall be valued at 1.8, no, uh, scratch that, 1.4 million. 1.4 million dollars. You have that? Mm -hmm, yes, sir. And we shouldn't also fail to. Look at risk assessment evaluation as well as growth trajectory analysis. <sighs> oh, I can't do that. I have a problem with company staff coming to work shabbily, especially in a corporate environment as ours. Mm, I'm sorry, sir. I do not understand. I do not like your shoes. I actually have. That's how I I do not like any of them. Even my own mother, who is approaching 60 and retired, uses better shoes than yours. So here's what you do. You go to the finance department. I will call to approve some fund. Take that money. Go to uh, Tiana's place. You can pick up any of the drivers. They know the place. They'll take you there, all right? Get yourself some nice quality shoes. If any driver will be told that you are taking to Tiana's place, okay? And one more thing, you might want to consider improving your driving skill. You might not always have the drivers at your disposal. The more independent you are, the better for us. Yes, You haven't been very radiant this past few days. Is anything the matter? Nothing, sir. Okay. Um, has anyone ever told you how how beautiful you are? I, I, I mean, what I'm trying to say is you should act in a manner that wouldn't prompt me to be glad at you. You know, I, I, I really don't like yelling at my, at my beautiful assistant. I'm fine, sir. Yeah, sure. Sure. Excuse me. Richard, Zoe so called. And she complained that you hardly pick her calls. And you don't reply her messages. Why don't you return her calls and I reply her messages? Mom, it's, it's, I, 
That girl is beautiful. Other men shouldn't take her away from you. Mom, hold on. I'm listening. Okay, so has Zoe ever told you that I told her that I, I love her or that I am going to propose to her? Has she ever told you that? Mom, listen. This is a different era. This is a different generation. Gone are the olden days where mothers marry wives for their sons. That doesn't happen in this time. Richard, every year will eventually turn to olden day. I sent you a picture of that girl going to the beach with her friends in Miami. Did you see how her skin glowed? Did you see her beautiful straight legs? Um, Mom, sorry, I, I don't mean to cut you short. I, uh, some business um, associates just walked into my office and it's very, very pertinent that I have the discussion. I promise to call you back, okay? Please, I promise, I'll call you back. Love you, Mom. Richard, not again. Ah! Missy Dara. Yes, Are you laughing? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, sir. No, 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 it's, it's fine. You, you, you know, my, my, my mother is a drama queen. I do understand, sir. All mothers are like that. Believe you me, my mother is the worst of them all. If you say so. I made you laugh, I made you smile. Yes, I made you laugh. And that's the idea I want to see in this office. Keep smiling, keep laughing, because that's what I want. Thank you, sir. Sir, please, may I be excused? Sure, sure, yes. Get back to work or something. Send my assistant to see that it's sorted, okay? Thank you. Um, Idara, I will need you to go to Tiana's place. And there's a certain lady that you will uh, pick to four star hotel. No, sir? Yes, please. No. Please add some speed. I want it done immediately. Okay, sir. Thank you. Are you Rishi's assistant? Are you the one I'm supposed to pick up? Yes, please. Go to the car. Where? Front seat. Why? Rishi likes me at the back. Suit yourself.
The door is open. I know the door is open. Come and open it for me. I'm sorry I can't do that. Please just calm down. I have meetings to attend. Anyways, why I'm taking this thing lightly with you is because today is the first time I'm seeing you. The next time we try this, trust me, you will lose your job. <laughs> How is work? Ah, Richard has a girlfriend. Ah, so sorry about that. You know you are his assistant now and the closest person to him. So you see a lot of things from him. Okay, dear. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye. Thank you. I was thinking what I could get for you as a gift because I know you practically have everything. Uh, on the contrary, I don't have everything. You do, sir. Happy birthday once again. It's cufflinks. First lady that has ever given me a gift. No, if I remember vividly, Tiana gave me a gift once, so that makes you the second lady. But I love it anyway, it's, it's, it looks good. And it means a lot to me. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it, sir. Yes, I do. So, um, get yourself together this evening. You and I shall be going out. Okay, sir.
Happy birthday, sir. Live long and prosper, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fayashe. Um, you know me very well. I usually do not celebrate birthdays and festivities. But since you all have decided to imbibe a new company culture to embarrass me every five, five minutes just to wish me a happy birthday, who am I not to show gratitude? Thank you very much again. I really appreciate it. So uh, you can organize everyone, have a timeout, have some refreshments, but just one hour because work still continues. Hmm? Uh, that's all. Thank you, sir. By the way, thank you for keeping things together around here, especially when I'm not around. You're doing a great job. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Amen. You are blessed in our reunification. Amen. You will marry a good wife. You will give us beautiful grandchildren. Amen.
Very sorry. No. I don't even know what. No, no, no. You, you really don't need to be sorry for anything. Okay? Just relax. You had too much alcohol last night. You could use some more rest. I, I, um, I ordered coffee. That should help relieve the stress. What happened between us? Oh. <clears throat> I, I guess by now you should be aware. Listen, Adara, I, I really like you. I like you a lot. You are my boss. Yes, I am your boss. You just kissed my cheek. This isn't right. What isn't right? This. You and I being intimate isn't right. Mm. It isn't right? Mm. Mm. You have no idea how much I have longed for this moment. Every day I see you in the office, I become totally clueless and filled with tremendous desire. And those meetings we had, you were everything that occupied my thoughts. In my daydreams, you're standing there, completely stark naked, with those beautiful eyes piercing through my soul, like I'm in some sort of captivity. In my daydreams, you're my boss. 
and that's okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Just just give me a second. Okay, I'm in the car soon enough. Yeah. Um How are you? Yeah, um, I'm doing great. And you? Richard, you've been avoiding me for some time now. What is really going on? Can you tell me please? Uh I've been a little bit I've been very busy. It's not my intention to avoid you. Too busy for you to come and see me and have fun with me and my girls? Hmm? I'll tell you what, uh, I'll try to make our time and uh, I'll come soon. Hmm? When is soon? You've been saying that for some weeks now. When is soon, Richard? Please, what's really going on? Can you tell me, please? Anyway, I'm at the construction site all alone. Can you come over for a quickie? I know it's gonna be crazy and you love every bit of it as usual. Mm -hmm. You know, Tiana, there comes a time in a man's life where he drops beautiful exuberance. And now I've been doing some thinking and I think that uh, it's probably time that we, we stop all this juvenile activity hmm? oh because of her right who are you talking about that local brat you've been running around with tiana don't bring it that right to this oh she has a name interesting anyway i want to leave her out of it because she's the reason you've been avoiding me all this time Richard, I've spent all my years, five years, fulfilling all your sexual desires. You can't leave me like this. I have no other person, please. Richard, please don't do this to me, please. Richard, please. Can you just come? Let's talk, okay? So I take your silence about the trip to imply a yes, doesn't it? Why this trip now? Well, my mother wants me to settle with this lady. Her name's Zoe. But the thing is, I do not think I'm ready to settle yet. Or maybe I just don't like her enough. So I'm hoping you can help stand as my fiance. Act like we've been engaged and we're about to get married. That way my mother will forget about Zoe and I and everything settled. Okay. Thank you. Stallion Construction Company wants to collaborate with us building project that the federal government is asking contractors to bid for. Their CEO would like to have a meeting with you. Please do that again. Yes, sir. Stallion Construction Company would like to collaborate with us in the high-rise building project that the federal government is asking contractors to bid for. Your CEO would like... No. I do not understand, sir. No? Miss Idara, to the best of my knowledge, which is quite vast in the way, the word N-O no simply means only one thing. We will not collaborate with any company. Let them make their bid as we make ours. Let the most credible company win. Is that all? Now. 
to Zach. What is Chantel is here to see you. She says she's from Zach. Well, I don't think I've ever done anybody to claims of that of her. I'm the lady from Tiana. Okay, Tiana, I know. And she has introduced me to a lot of other people, so uh, I don't think I'll be able to place the face of every one of them. Like I said, what do you want? You, baby. Um, um excuse me, sir. Is that you have up there in your head in my office space, not during working hours. Mm -hmm. So, this is the point where you leave while I go back to work. Well, I just came to say thank you for the 500,000 naira you gave me the other day. I was um, able to pay my school fees and even get a new apartment. So, thank you. What so did you say your name is again? Chantel, or you can call me Sexy Choco. Um, okay, so Sexy, whatever it is that you call Choco. yourself. Yes, I have heard you. Thank you for thanking me. And whatever you need going forward, kindly run it through Tiana, okay? I'll do my best to see you through, all right? But right now, I really need to go back to work so you can leave or I've got security. I just want to have your number. Tiana refused to give it to me. And what makes you think I'll give you my number? You and I don't have any business. Can mm -hmm. you go now? Okay. I just want three things from you. Your phone number. A selfie. And a kiss. Are you insane? Or would you better prefer a quick... I'm game. Hey, listen, I don't know who sent you or whatever it is that you're doing in my office. You need to leave now, and I promise you, if you do not leave, I will embarrass you. I will call in security. Go! Leave my office. Nobody's here. Leave my office now. Friend. What? Please leave my office. Hello. 
How did it go? It went very well. Too well. He was visibly scared. Good. I'll send something to your car right now. You're such a good girl. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you, too. Look at the phone. Tell you was an emergency. I knew you wouldn't come. Tiana, Tiana, you can't keep doing this. Tiana, you know I'm a busy man. Tell me, I missed you. I missed our weekends together. I really need to get going now. I have a lot of baggage in the office, and I need to clear them up. Now you're treating me like trash. No, I will never treat you that way. Richard, can you give me your time? One day. One night, one hour, just one more time, one last time, please, please, Richard. Please. One last time. One last time. What is this? I'm resigning. Do you really have to quit? Yes. Why did you do that? You can't force me to stay. Idara. I see no reason why you should bother yourself over something that is so unnecessary. I mean, if this is about the lady of yesterday and I assure you, nothing happened between us. I am not dating her. I have never dated her. In fact, I'm not dating anyone. So if any woman walks up to you and tells you that I'm in a relationship with her, she's definitely lying to you or yanking your chains. For crying out loud, for the past three years of my life, I have never dated. I took her from Tiana's place to the hotel that day. Yes, you did. And so freaking what? I mean, what does that matter? Okay, fine. I, I tried to see if something would work between us. Myself and I, but it just turns out that she's not even my type. So I gave her what she wanted and she left. What did she want? Why are you walking away from me? I gave her money. Money to pay her tuition. And that's it. And she left. I'm sorry. Come on. It was just money and that's it. We didn't do anything, I'm sorry. 
It was just money that I gave her and that's it. Come on. Babe, Oga wants me to accompany him to see his parents. Are you joking or what? No, he said something about his mom wanting him to marry this girl he doesn't like. Hey, wait now, let me talk. Hmm? I don't have anything with him. Seriously. He says he wants me to accompany him to his parents and I am so excited. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'll miss you too.
Good morning, sir. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. Have you seen Miss Lidara? She came in earlier, dropped the car keys, then left. Did she discuss anything with you or anyone else? No, sir. Was she supposed to? Don't bother. Okay. About? About you and I. About what happened at Tiana's place. You seriously came here to lie to me? To tell me lies about all those girls? Have you forgotten that before I fell in love with you, you'd send me severally to pick those girls up and take them to different hotels of your choice? Why am I even hot anyway? You have always been a playboy. You have always been a chit. Sleeping around with Abuja girls. Why did I deceive myself to think that you would change? Idara. You can never, ever change. I am not going to deny any of that. Neither am I here to defend myself. I mean, this has always been an addiction for me. And I'm hoping that you might help me fix it. What do you want? I am not here to ask you to resume your duties as my assistant. But I already spoke to my parents about you. They're expecting you. I told them I'm bringing you home. Please, do me this just one favor. Lie. No. Big, fat lie. No. I know I am undeserving of you. I know I've hurt you so badly. But right now, my parents are expecting you. I've read the memo. If you see me, fine. If you do not see me, fine. One more thing. I'll be moving out of your apartment by weekend. Why? Because I no longer work for you. Well, I don't remember you tendering a letter. I tendered a resignation letter and you tore it into pieces. Really? Then how come my memory eludes me because I don't remember any of that detail? When you want to cheat, you feign amnesia. Well, now you remember. Now you know. Well, just in case you have forgotten it, Dara, your employment contract really states that peradventure an employee tends to resign. Such employee must tender a letter of notification for at least a period of three months <laughs> before a letter of resignation. So technically, you still work for me. I know the reason he want to marry her. It's because she's beautiful. Susan, 
allow him to rest. He's eating. What have I said wrong? A man must marry for the right reason, which is beauty. Because no mother will want the children, the grandchildren, to be ugly. Even if anybody does, I wouldn't want to have ugly grandchildren. I want them to look as beautiful as I am. <laughs> Mom, can we have this conversation when we're done eating? That's true. This is not the right time to talk about it. I'm sorry, I'll be quiet henceforth. Sorry for that um, drama my mother displayed. It's all right. I like her. Okay. Well, I'm also sorry um, that I didn't bring this earlier. I mean, I ought to have asked you a long time ago. Would you be kind enough to tell me about your family background? My father died when I was 10. My sister was just two years old. My mother struggled all by herself to train my sister and I. She's retired now. She was a teacher at the government school. So it's just you and your sister now? Yes. Okay. Um, is there anything you think I should know? Not necessarily. Are you sure? Sure. Hmm. Pink is my favorite color. I had wished I had a, a daughter that would share in my dress sense and probably share my beautiful clothes with me. But unfortunately, I kept having series and series of miscarriages after I had my Richard. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. That is a long time ago. So tell me, what do you do? I work as an assistant in a real estate firm. Mm -hmm. That means that is where my Richard met you. Because he owns one himself. Hmm. <laughs> Finally, my son is getting married to a beautiful woman. You give him lots of children. Lots of them who will finally inherit the Carlos' wealth and carry on on their grandfather's legacy. Ah! Don't mind Richard and whatever he says about childbearing, all right? I don't know why he gets angry at me. Each time I talk about traditional things. My darling, as a woman, Having lots of children is an advantage, a huge blessing from God. And I wasn't privileged to have lots of them. That is why I believe that God didn't bless me. Oh. It's as the truth, God didn't bless me. Please don't say that. And since I have you now, you're going to give me lots and lots of them. Pretty boys, girls running around this house, beautiful like you are. Right? You're going to give me lots of them. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. That's good, that's good. Uh, no, 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 no. You see, we do everything possible to take good care of her. Because um, we have an interest to protect. You get it? So, when you go back, make sure that... Ah, my daughter. God will bless you. Amen. Amen. 
and please do take good care of yourself. I will. If he misbehaves, don't hesitate to call me. To report. How come I'm always the only one who misbehaves? <laughs> Uh, I know I hate traveling much, but for your sake, I'll come visit him. You know how you're doing. Thank you, ma. Take care of yourself, okay? Yes, ma. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let me take you to your door. Dad. Uh, take good care of her. She's a good lady. I know. And I like her. <laughs> Dad, I'll drop the car key at the hotel so Joseph can come pick the car up. Uh, no problem. Uh, they know what to do. Thank you, Daddy. It's all right. <clears throat> You're welcome. What? The money you said I would have to give you after the day. I just go back on the phone. That won't be necessary. I had fun. Besides, I like your parents. Well, I had everything. You will still be with me. Thank you once again for coming. Bye. My God. Ah! Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh my God. Petit Shasha. Hmm? Smally. There's absolutely nothing you're going to tell me this time. You have finally gotten yourself a man. No man. No. In fact, I'm looking for a man. Hmm? <laughs> but babe, Richard Kali is dying for you. The way he looks at you in all his pictures. Oh my. Babe, you need to shine your eyes on. No, this small, small girl is not collecting from you. <laughs> it's not like that. But wait, I do. You shocked me. So you mean you have the mind to keep such so secret from me that you're dating the boss? I planned on telling you everything. Mm -hmm. You know what? It happened so fast. Before I knew it, I was falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, have you guys? <laughs> Baby, the walls have ears, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, oh, don't worry. See all the secrets you're keeping from me. I'll still find that one day. <laughs> I beg, babe, I beg. Uh -huh. So, what would you like to eat? Are you hungry? Yes. But well, let me finish with this one first. What do you have? Everything. Hmm. This is Carlo. <laughs> the mustard green here. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll get there. <laughs> what does it mean? We'll get there. <laughs> Oh, gosh, really <laughs> but wait, oh, I did. How long have you known Richard that you know almost everything about him? Hey, Smolly. Smolly, don't go there. It's not about how long, but how well. I mean... <laughs> uh, sorry, how may I help you? Are you Idara? Yes, please. Well, my name is Choma, and I am Richard Carlos fiancé. I know you are shocked. That's why I'm here to talk to you woman to woman. 
Like I said earlier, my name is Choma. And I am three months pregnant for Richard. Yes, he hasn't abandoned me. In fact, he still comes home to me. Wait, you mean you live together? Yes. So, why did you come here to give me this information? For your own good. Because he's going to use you and jump you, just as he has used me. You might take this as an advice, a warning or a threat. I'm going to make a video of both of you if you don't stay off my man and I'm going to post this on social media. Hello, Richard. A woman just left my house right now. She says her name is Choma. She lives with you. And she is pregnant for you. How come you didn't tell me about this all this while? Babe, you need to calm down. Calm down. He says he knows nothing about any charmer. He might be speaking the truth. You don't know all these girls. They can do anything to get a man as rich as Richard Carlo. This might be one of their setup. No. It is not a setup. For her to be bold enough to come here and tell me that. It's no setup. You don't know these girls. They can do anything to get a man as rich as Richard Carlo. I do not agree with you. I have never been this embarrassed my entire life. I... Mr. Fayosha asks you again, what is troubling you? What is the matter? I'm sorry, sir. There is a problem. Okay. A lady called Chioma posted a video on social media telling people how you slept with her. The comments on that video are crazy. What are you talking about? I mean, who is Chioma? What, what, what video? Well, since my man, Richard Kahlo, doesn't want to take this peacefully, I've decided to bust it here on social media. Yes, Richard Kahlo, I am calling you out here because you have refused to take responsibility as a would-be father to our child. You even took your assistant outside the country and you left me here to suffer. Richard Kahlo, God will judge you. God will judge you and all those people supporting your useless attitude. What have I done to deserve this? Why are you treating me like this? Why? <laughs> Sir. 
Sir, I think we should compensate her. Compensate her for what? You are asking me to compensate the social media and the that I don't even know? It's quite appalling the length that this crazy social media jerks would go to tarnish the image of others. I don't know this girl and I've never met her in my entire life. I want her arrested. Immediately. I think... I am saying I'm not paying you to think for me. Now get the job done! Go! Alright, sir. Who are you? And who paid you to tarnish my image? Nobody paid me, sir. I've been crushing on you for years, and you've never looked my way. I had to do something to make you come close to me. I know your house, your office. I know your latest, one of your workers. I even know about Tiana. So you mean you paid bloggers, journalists? You bombarded the entire internet and raised your page to over a million viewers just because you are crushing on a man. Do you realize the gravity of what you have done? Do you realize how much you have damaged my relationship? Not to talk of my prestige and my business. You brought this upon yourself. Now, what do I do with you? Please forgive me. I did what I did out of jealousy. Why are you smiling? <laughs> um, it just dawned on me that I. I have never really told you how much I love you. I love you too. Really? How come you've never told me? You've never said it either. Well, I guess that serves as a precedent for what I'm about to do now. What? Yes. Nice. 